You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful punch. Leg so kick. both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Right hand upstairs. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on draw. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe him? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Nermago Meadow. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big kick lands. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. Nice punch land over the top. 32 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Khabib. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big body kick lands. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big leg kick lands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in box class. Hands up, chin down. Connects with the right. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, man, look, the uppercut snaps his head back yet again. His coaches are livid. They've tried to give him the right messaging in terms of adjusting. He hasn't been able to execute. He's not listening. At times, a fighter will make a determination, even if it's not in their best interest to fight a certain way. That is what he's doing tonight, and he's definitely paying for it. Beautiful strike. Under a minute now to go in the round. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands often. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect. Beautiful Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Tags him with the left. Ten seconds to go in the round.
big call from Punch Lance. Now we get back to ring. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Madoff. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice body kick. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. Nice one-two there. Throwing that jab, no good. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Good stick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Right hook to the head block. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, big punch land. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice kick. Just misses there with the left. And that one certainly found the target. Nurmagomedov's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Takedown defense holds up. One of the most important strikes in the clinch is this big body shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice strike. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I, I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's poured blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. 
lands with a right hand. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nurmagomedov gets lit up by that straight punch. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Nurmagomedov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. And that's the end of round number two. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready, take a seat. Deep breath. Breathe. All right, let's get into water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. A little single collar tie there. Rips the body there. Three minutes remain in the round. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. That was a thudding leg kick. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, that's a nice strike. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Beautiful. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that right hook. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Good punch. 
Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Yeah, left hook found its target. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Tags him with the uppercut. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Went for the inside leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? The right hand just misses. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the stick. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice. Body kick now by Nermago Medov. Oh, nice. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just out of range with the big right hand. And they separate. Nice punch, Lance. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice punch there. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Big power shot there. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Great punch. So Khabib choosing to strike here tonight, DC. We saw in the Conor McGregor fight, he was more than willing to try to land power shots on the feet. And that's what we have seen here in this one tonight. Oh, lands the overhand. How good is that? Hands high, hands high. 
Nurmagomedov's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, inside kick. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Right on the button. Big kick. Come on, man, let's get that takedown, score some points. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good punch, Lance. Some nice back and forth action here. Hit him with the overhand. Final minute to go here in round four. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. You got to check these low leg kicks. Big punch lands. Ooh. Head kick lands. Flush right hand is true. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Both guys landing big shots. Man! Oh, nice connection. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Knee to the body. Oh, he might be out. Lands a nice one, too. Just misses with a left hook there. That's a big strike right there. Clean with the right hook. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Big kick lands. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh, well placed with the uppercut there. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Elbow strike there by Nurmago Medov. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. 
All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Punch over the top. Visibly limping here. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Outstanding kick there by Nurmagomedov. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Let's go. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. And now they are throwing... Whoa! Oh, he put him to sleep. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's 